In this video I'm going to show you guys how to make a Pegasus class hydrofoil in Minecraft as used by the United States Navy. Now if you guys are new to the channel at all, we're here to help you build a bigger and also build better. So if that's something you're interested in, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Also guys, if you want more videos like this one, I have got tons on the channel and I'll leave a link in the card above as well as in the description to a full playlist that you can check out. Anyway guys, let's get into some building. So here we are on my flat tutorial world guys, we're going to be building this one out of the water like normal and also doing it layer by layer, so building up each section by section, block by block. Um, and that will help you guys. So in the chapters uh, part of this, so the kind of like time points, that will be each uh, kind of layer. Tell you guys if you do need a break, which is absolutely fine. So because it's a hydrofoil, it's up to you where you want to have it underneath the water. Now what I've done is I had one where you've got the water level here. That means that your first layer is going to be one. So this is where if, if this is your water, right guys? Place a block next to it, go one, two, three, four, five, six and seven okay and then that layer right there would be your first layer if you wanted that so that's if the hydrofoils aren't being used you're just going at your normal speed now if you do want the hydrofoils in use um i would actually say don't have the water at this level all right so don't have it right next to it like this but instead have a couple blocks under okay the reason being that the front part of it is one block higher than the back so because we don't want that, I'm going to have to fix that in a second, don't I? Um, because we don't want that, what I would actually do is have your water level perhaps either here. So you've just got this bit just on top of the water. Um, so if that's the case, you'd just be one, two blocks down. Or, guys, you could have it on three blocks. This is kind of where it's up to you. I think for my one, I had it on the three blocks. So a lot of it was kind of hidden. It was getting up to speed uh, and stuff like that. So uh, I'll be building mine in a box, and actually talking about that, the dimensions of this one are 42 blocks long. It is 19 blocks wide because the hydrofoils do stick out quite a bit. And of course, because of the hydrofoils, again, you've also got quite a bit of height, and that is 27 blocks high. So 42 by 19 by 27. So if you guys do want to build a box for this one, you can do. We're actually going to be starting from the back to build the uh, back area there, but if you were docking it, you can then figure out where to place it all. So for layer number one, guys, we're going to be right in the middle of this box. Now, of course, if you aren't building it in a box, that's absolutely fine. Um, the easiest way to find the middle is that from each side, you do like place a block, leave two, place a block, leave two, and then you'll find the middle there like that. OK, so that's the that's usually the way that I end up doing. I just end up putting on two dots so there if it's a slightly bigger or wider area. Um, so what we're going to do from here is we're going to be seven blocks forwards. I'm just using blue concrete to mark this. It doesn't really matter, but one two, three, four, five, six, seven. Then in terms of our materials, okay, so uh, actually materials are a good thing to talk about. Um, we're gonna need stone slabs, stairs, and gray, light gray concrete. Now the bottom of this is either red or it's gray. Um, I think most of the pictures were shown as gray, but I've kept it as red to kind of make it clear that we're on those different sections for the tutorial. But it's up to you guys if you wanna do it out of light gray, okay? But uh, either way, with your stone slabs, we're going to need three on the lower right here. Add three on the side as well. Then what we're going to do is we're going to be onto the upper. Okay, so we're going to have three of those going, and then three of those there like that. So we've got this middle bit, one on the side there on the lower, two upper. We are then going to leave a gap, and we're going to have three upper. Then we're going to leave a gap again. Three upper, and three upper, then one lower. It's a bit weird, I know, but this is under the bottom of this. So it's just these little markers here. It makes a lot more sense when I show you guys. But again, that's what we're going to have. So let's do it on the other side now. So we get one layer of those lowers, then two uppers, two, three. Get rid of that block there. Leave a gap. I'm going to have an upper just floating there. Leave a gap. I'm going to have an upper, another upper, and then a lower. And that'll bring you right to the edge. So that's what you end up getting. Lowers in the middle, and then we get all those until we get to the sides, but that's it for layer number one. For layer number two, where we've got the back part here, where we've got these three slabs, we're going to have three blocks of your light kit concrete on top. Then on the side of that, where we've got this gap, we're going to have lower slabs. Now it's on the next level, so that's how we join that up. Then on the back and the front of this, we're going to have an upside down stone stair. So there and there. Let's do that on the other side now. So three blocks in the middle. Slabs. 
and slabs on the back upside down stair on the front upside down stair like that there we go then what we're going to do guys is we're going to have a 23 block gap so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 21 22 23 there we go so straight from the middle uh, kind of line from that then we're going to build up with one block that's just to help us with the slab that we're going to place now. So we're then going to have a slab on the upper piece of that block. Two blocks coming forwards with your light grey concrete, one and two. Then we're going to have a stone slab on the front, on the upper. Then add one to either side of that. So you get one on either side. Then what we're going to do is, coming back now, we're going to have two slabs. So one and two. Then we're going to have one slab here like that. So we get a two and a one there like that. Then all we're gonna do guys is we're gonna bring that edge right into the middle of this, like that. So you end up just dragging that back like that. But guys, that's it for layer number two. So what we can now do is we can get rid of these guide pieces because we're all set for the next couple. So we're now going to do layers number three and four at the same time or together or whatever. Um, so right on the front now, guys, we're going to have a slab. Then we're going to have two blocks. Then we're going to have a slab. Then all we're going to do at the front is we're going to place a block on the, uh, so light grey concrete block, just on the frontmost one there like that. So that's, that's kind of the reason, guys. It's that simple for some of these. Then we're going to do on these side bits, we're just going to be building up these pieces here. So where we've got that upside down stair, place a slab on the top. Then we're going to have three blocks. Then you're going to add another three blocks if you like concrete on top. So slab, slab, three blocks, and then three blocks on top of that as well. Just like that. But that's it, guys, for layer number three and four. On to layer number five now. So right at the front here, we're going to build another light grey concrete block. Then, guys, we're going to have two block gaps. So I'm going to use blue concrete just to fill this in. Then we're on to the bottom of this kind of like mangrove layer here, so the red. Now remember guys what I said at the beginning, this I'm pretty sure is light grey, so you might want to use stone instead, but I'm going to be using mangrove for the tutorial. Uh, it'll just differentiate between different parts and make it a little bit easier. Um, so there we go. So right here we're going to have eight slabs, eight slabs on the upper piece here. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, like that, <laughs> almost overcounted. But there we go, that's what we get. So for the back now, we're going to have another three blocks in the middle of these parts here. So one, two, three, like that. Then what we're going to do, guys, place a blue concrete block, leave a gap, place a blue concrete block. So it's just going to be on the backmost one, like this. Then we're going to do the same. So we're going to have one here, and then do the same again, all right, to there. So we go three in, then we go five back, okay? So three in, five back, like this. We end up, we do it this way with the with the one gap. It seems to make it a lot easier. And then right on the end of that, we're just going to have a mangrove slab. So really simple little mangrove slab. That's just going to be the bottom of that uh, rudder that we've got on the side there. But now, guys, get rid of those guide pieces. We don't need them anymore. Now that we've got those nice floating blocks. But guys, that's it for layer number five. For layer number six now, go to the front and we're going to place a light grey concrete block just on top of the previous one. Then we're going to have a mangrove slab coming forwards from that. Now guys, with your mangrove, we're going to go back from this, so diagonal from it, that's going to be a starting point. We're going to have three slabs, one, two, three. Then six slabs, one, two, three, four, five, and six. Then what we're going to do is going to have nine slabs, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Now moving inwards, we're going to have five slabs. One, two, three, four, five. And then in again with four slabs. One, two, three, four. And then seven slabs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, like that. Let's do the same on the other side now. So one, two, three. Then six. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Then we're going to have nine. One, two, three, four, five. Ooh. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Then I move inwards with five, one, two, three, four, and five. Then move in with four, one, two, three, and four, like that. Okay. Then what we're going to do is where we've got that slow, um, that floating slab, we're going to have a red concrete block on top with an upside down mangrove stair coming forwards. So block on top, upside down mangrove stair coming forwards from that. 
with the side pieces of the hydrofoils. You're just going to place one block right at the back. Then we're going to have a stone stair, then a stone slab. So block, stair, slab like that. Okay. Um, now what we'll do guys is we'll go to the front. Um, so we're going to be filling in this thing. So first we're going to put in more slabs. We're going to go one, two, three. And where we've got this one here, we're going to have a slab joining across like that. On the side piece here, we're going to bring those slabs all the way back, just across this run like that. And then what we're going to do from here is we're going to have slabs in the middle of this bit. One, two, three, and four. And then we're going to add four slabs onto the side here. So one, two, three, and four like that. There we go. So one, two, three, four. We've got this long run here. We're going to put in the slabs. And also here, one slab there like that. So that's what you end up getting for your kind of like frame. Then with our red concrete now, we can just plonk these in. Now it's up to you guys. You could actually do lower slabs if you wanted to, because that will cover up the gap. But I always find it's easier to have a flat uh, kind of base with all of your builds. Um, if you want to do some interiors, you can then place stuff around, you know, anything really. So there we go. Let's plonk in those as well and fill that up. There we go, and then that completes, guys, layer number six. On to layer number seven, we're going to place a red concrete block directly on top of the slab that we had previously. Then we're going to have an upside down mangrove stair coming forwards from that. Then we're going to have a mangrove slab on the side of that block with a red concrete block behind that. Then we're going to have two uh, slabs, one and two, with one red concrete block behind. Then we're going to have three slabs, one, two, three, with two blocks behind, one and two. Then what we're going to do is we're going to have four slabs, one, two, three, and four, with eight blocks behind it, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Then three slabs behind that, one, two, and three. Then moving inwards, we're going to have two blocks of red concrete, one and two, with two slabs on the end, one and two. Then we're going to have two blocks, one and two of your red concrete with two slabs on the end, one, two. Then we're going to have two blocks of red concrete with one slab on the end like that. Then on the inside of this, we're going to have a red concrete block. Then a lower mangrove slab here. Now you're going to need to grab a new block, but you're going to need it for the next level anyway, or layer anyway, which is going to be a black concrete block. And we're going to place that behind the slab right here. So there's got quite a few different jets on this one. It's got like a big one. I think it's got two smaller jets as well, uh, from what I remember. But there we go. That's what we're going to have there. Um, and then also on the side here, we're going to place one light concrete block on the side of the hydrofoil. So let's do that on the other side because it's uh, highly likely I'll forget it. And now let's do the other side. So what we're going to have here is a slab with a red concrete block behind. Two slabs with one concrete block behind. Then we're going to have, what is it, three slabs. Yep, yeah, one, two, three, with two blocks behind. One, two, four slabs. One, two, three, four, with eight blocks behind. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Add three slabs on the end. One, two, and three. Move in with two blocks. One, two, with two slabs. One, two. Then two blocks. One, two, with two slabs. With two blocks, with a slab. And then we're going to have a red concrete block on the inside right here like that. Okay, now we're just going to fill in the gaps. So we're just going to use red concrete for these gaps now. So just fill these in right here. Like that. Stop all the water coming through if it's obviously lowered. If not, it's absolutely fine. It'll be just uh, floating out there. There we go. It's also going to be all these ones at the back here like this. There we go. It's all looking good. Um, and guys, well, that's it for layer number seven. So we're now done with the either light gray or red layer, depending on what you've done. So we'll now be on the black layer. So if you did have it where I was building it, the next layer will be out of the water fully. So we're now on to layer number eight, which is the black layer. So guys, you're going to need to grab blackstone slab, stairs, and also black concrete. I just find that these work the best with it. Uh, it's the closest that we got, at least at the minute, in the uh, this version of the game, 1.19, I think it is. Anyway, so we're going to place a black concrete block on the front. And in fact, what I'm going to do to make it a little bit clearer is I'm actually going to be switching my black concrete out for polished diorite. So you guys will use black concrete whenever I say diorite by accident, which will happen. Use black concrete, all right? So we're going to place a block directly on top of the stair there. 
Then on the front of that black concrete block, we're going to have an upside down uh, black stone stair. We're going to have an upside down black stone stair on the side as well. Then we're going to have one slab coming out. So one slab right there with a block behind it. That's going to be your black concrete block. Okay. Then we're going to have two slabs, one and two. And behind that, we're going to have two black concrete blocks, one and two. Then we're going to have two slabs, one and two. And then 20 blocks of your black concrete. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. And then on the end of that, we're going to have two slabs, one and two. We're going to move in and have two blocks of your black concrete. There is then going to be four stairs sideways from this. So one, two, three, and four. And that'll bring you right to the back like that. And then across the back, we're going to have five blocks of black concrete. One, two, three, four, and five like that. So then you get that little gap there and you get all of this part here. So let's do the same on the other side now. So we're gonna have that upside down blackstone stair. Then we're gonna have a blackstone slab with one block of concrete behind. Then we're gonna have two slabs, one and two with two blocks behind, one and two. Then we're gonna have two slabs with 20 blocks behind, one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Then we're going to have two slabs on the end, one and two. Then move in with four blocks, one, uh, sorry, not four blocks, two blocks, one, two, and four slabs, one, two, three, and four. So sideways slabs there like that. I've already got them going across. Then with the gaps, use your black concrete blocks to just do all of that. Fill in those gaps like this. There we go, just like that. And uh, there we go, guys. I actually did quite well with uh, not calling uh, my black concrete block polished diorite, which is uh, surprising for me. But there we go. That's what you should have. Hopefully that makes it a little bit easier to see the uh, stair and slab placement. But guys, that's it. Almost. <laughs> Grab yourself your light grey concrete. Place one more block on top of the uh, side bit here. There we go. We finally connected it. Um, now, guys, we're done for layer number eight. On to layer number nine now. Go to the front and place a block of light gray concrete. So we're actually back onto the light gray layer if you're doing that one, light gray that is. So you need your stone slab, stair, and light, con light gray concrete block. There we go. Place a block directly on top of the last layer. Then we're gonna have a stair upside down coming forwards from that one. Then on the side of that block, we're gonna have an upside down uh, stone stair. Then we're going back, we're going to have an upside down stone stair as well, but this time that one is going to have one block behind. Then what we're going to do, guys, is we are going to have another upside down stone stair, like that, with three blocks behind, one, two, and three. Then an upside down stone stair, and this time we're going to have a total of 24 blocks behind, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four. Then, guys, with your stone stair, place that directly on top, uh, not on top, behind, directly behind, <laughs> and upside down, just like that. Then we're going to move in. We're going to have five blocks, one, two, three, four, and five, like that. Okay. Let's do the same on the other side. We've got loads of other little bits and pieces on this layer to do. So upside down stone stair, then another upside down stone stair with one block behind, then an upside down stone stair with three blocks behind, then an upside down stone stair with 24 blocks behind, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, then an upside down stone stair, then five blocks, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. Now what we're going to do, guys, Leave a block here, so don't place one there, and put three in the middle like that. We're then going to go over to the front, and we're just going to fill in the gaps. So fill in your gaps here with your light grey concrete. And at the back here as well, fill in that gap there. Then on the side part of this here, we're going to do this first. We're going to place a light grey concrete block like that. Then grab yourself a stone brick wall. We're going to have two of those, and then we're going to have a blast furnace on the side of that. So build up two like, uh, stone brick walls, then a blast furnace. I'm also going to place a stone button on that to then kind of connect it all in, okay? We can do some stuff with a debug stick and a sec as well that I'll show you guys, but we'll get this done first. So right at the back now, we're going to have a blast furnace, so blast furnace there. Then either with a barrier block or 
with a uh, piece of string, place that down. Now, if your water level is here, this will then be absolutely fine. But right there, we're going to have a an anvil right on top. So that's the other water jets that are kind of sticking out a little bit at the back there like that. So now we can get rid of quite a few of these blocks, clear it down a little bit. And what we're going to do is if you guys have got Java and you can get debug stick or you can get debug stick on a future version, uh, let's just slash give your name and then debug stick. So what we're going to do is we are going to go through this. So like north is the direction where it's connecting it at the minute. So north, I don't want it low. I, um, north to tool, that was weird. Why is that doing? Oh, that's north. Sorry, I'm an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> go to east. I want to get rid of east. There we go. Else have you not done? Um, so where is it? East is right there. We've got it set to none, and that's because it's actually west. Wow, I'm not doing well today. God knows why. There we go. We can set that to none, okay? That's the idea anyway. And it's the same with the up property as well. This one should really not be able to mess up, but you can set that to false, then that will connect in there. There we go, much better. Okay, so we can do the same here. We can set those two up to false. And then this time it's east, all right? Man, that was bad. <laughs> there we go, guys. That is what we need. We just need those connected in on the side like that. If you can do it with the debug stick, if not, don't worry. It'll look absolutely fine. You can see these ones here. I've copied that way anyway. But um, there we go, guys. That's it for layer number nine. On to layer number 10 now. We're going to place a light grey concrete block directly on top of the last layer. Then we're going to have an upside down stone stair coming forwards from that. Then we're going to have an upside down stone stair on the side of that block as well, just in there. Then we're going to have another upside down stone stair. And this is going to have one block behind, like that. Then we're going to have an upside down stone stair with four blocks behind. One, two, three, and four. Then we're going to have 26 blocks directly on top. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, like I said, directly on top. Then we're going to have 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5, and this is going to go across the back as well, just over the top of that. So we're getting to this kind of like final area now where everything just straightens out. Okay, so fill that in there. We had 4 here, 1, 2, 3, 4, with an upside down stair, then a block with an upside down stair, then an upside down stair there like that. And then what we can do is we can then block these up here, just these front ones like that. And there's nothing at the back at all. Right, so grab yourself your cyan terracotta. I'm pretty sure this is the closest color that I could find for it. Um, like most things with uh, pictures from uh, a little while ago, I think this is like 90s, 70s, or something like that, between 70s and 90s. Some of the kind of images are a little bit odd and um, some of the colors come out a little bit odd as well. So sometimes you kind of see it's almost like green kind of terracotta color, um, not quite lime actually, but uh, it was close cut between these two and I think it's more the cyan terracotta color. Anyway, what we're gonna do, so where we've got the longest run, we're gonna go straight across with this, okay, like that. And then we're gonna have two blocks either side of that from here, okay? like that. Then the rest of this is the Cyan, cyan Terracotta. Well, that's because we've got a little bit of a raise at the front of the ship. Uh, but this is the deck. So this is the main deck that you've got. So fill all of this in. I'm not going to make you guys watch me fill all this in because it will take a little while. So do pause the video. Fill all of that deck in um, to get that done. Then the other thing we're going to do right here is we're going to have a stone slab directly on top of the side of this hydrofoil. Uh, to finish up that bit because otherwise I will forget. But yep, fill in the deck from there and then we'll get on to the next bit. Alright then guys, so we're now off of the layers and onto section by section. So we're going to do the front part of it right here first, which is going to be building the shear, which is this bit that kind of raises up a little bit, and building the gun. And we'll also put in the nice flag as well. How about that? So right on the front, place a block directly on top of the last layer. We're then going to have an upside down stone stair just on the side of that block. Then an upside down stone stair with two blocks behind, one and two. Then we're gonna have three blocks, one, two, and three. Switch over to your stone slab and have two lower stone slabs on this, one and two. Then we're gonna have four stone slabs on the side, of the, uh, on this part here, okay? One, two, three, and four, like that. So there we go, stone stair first, upside down stone stair. Two blocks, one and two. Three blocks, one, two, three two stone slabs, one, two, and then four stone slabs, one, two, three, and four. Now, interestingly, we can actually get rid of this block here and this block here because we don't need them. 
Um, and then we're going to grab our cobblestone slab. It's the closest slab block at the minute for the cyan terracotta. So what we're going to do is we're going to have a slab here. Then we're going to go back, and then this is going to go across. So that is what you end up getting. And then right in the middle, three, you're going to go one, two, and three like that. Then switch over to your uh, cyan terracotta. And the only one that we're not going to put in is going to be where this little gap is. We're going to put in a light gray concrete on either side there. And then fill this part of it forwards with your cyan terracotta, okay? So there we go, get your deck in there. Apparently put it down there, like that, there we go. So that's what you end up getting. Then grab yourself some polished deep slate stairs. And then right on the side here, we're gonna have a three by three. Now you can knock out those three blocks under it as well if you want to. We're gonna have this little three by three all wrapping around like that. That's gonna be the base of the gun. And then what we'll do on top of this is we're going to have polished uh, andesite. I'm going to go one, two, three, all the way around like this. Leave the middle one though. We're going to need to grab that uh, slab, in fact. There we go, polished andesite slab, like that. And we're going to have the slab down the bottom right there like that. With our stairs, we're going to have a wraparound stair here. And then wrap that around all the way around this thing like this, okay? So it's just curled at the front like that. Then with our polished deep slate uh, slab, we're gonna have one there, then we're gonna have two, then we're gonna have two, okay? So that's what you end up getting as, as the little gun that this thing's got. Now what we can do is we can grab, there's always like loads of materials with these bits, grab an anvil and also grab some iron bars as well. So with your iron bars, we are gonna be on this front part here. We're gonna go one, two, three, and just wrap these around and just have these on top of this, okay? like this, like that there. With your uh, anvil, we're gonna just be a diagonal from the gun and then back by one. That's where you're gonna have an anvil, like that. And behind this, we're gonna have a total of five blocks. So one, two, three, four, five, and that's gonna be part of the main superstructure and um, we'll then get onto the bridge. But that then kind of sets everything into uh, the right place for us. Now what we can also do, now that we've got the iron bars, is actually bring the iron bars back from that slab and bring it all the way around. So wherever we get to this part, just cut it around. Put that around there, like this, and do the same over here as well, till you bring it to that area like that. Now the only thing, other thing we're gonna do is we're gonna grab a nice flag. Now I'll leave a link in the description to uh, a really cool site that shows you how to make these. So we've got the US flag there. So on the back, right in the middle, we're gonna place another two iron bars, just going up and then place your banner onto that, okay? So, absolutely love that site, it is awesome. Uh, it's got numbers, it's got everything. Numbers, letters, everything. Also do the same on the front, and also place your red banner in there, like that, so that'll give you your nice flag, your nice uh, US flag, like that. Love it. Um, so there we go, guys, that is it for this front section. So now on to the main superstructure. So what we're gonna do is grab your light gray concrete, and right from the side here, we're gonna continue with this one. We're gonna count that one already. So we've already got one there, and we're gonna go back with eight, okay? So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Leave a gap. We're then gonna have four blocks of light gray. One, two, three, four. Then grab yourself polished deep slate. We're gonna have two of those, one and two. Then we're gonna have one block of light gray. Then we're gonna move in, and we're gonna have two blocks of light gray like that, and then one in the middle there. So, Continue this on, so it's an eight, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Door, one, two, three, four. Two, polished deep slate, one, two. One light gray on the back. Then we're gonna move in, we're gonna have two blocks right there, like that. There we go. So what we're gonna do on the front is we're gonna add one more onto this corner. Then we're gonna have a stone stair on top. So one there, stone stair on top. Have light gray concrete in the middle there, and also on top, like that. Then we're gonna continue the light gray concrete along and do it again as well, build that up to the same level. So then that's the same level as your stair. Place a block over the top of the doorway. We'll put in the door in a sec, just to run out of inventory space and then build the rest of these up to three high. Now we've got the deep slate, add those up as well. Put in two of them there, two of them there, like that. Same on the back, just make this all light gray like this. And on the other side, of course, exactly the same. 
there we go okay so now we've got that what we're going to do is right at the front we're going to have three more blocks at the uh, on on this run here one two three then on the side we're going to have four blocks one two three four one two two three and four then add one block either side moving inwards now what we need to do is grab glass and we're going to have glass on top of these so this is where the bridge is like that and then on top of this we're going to have stone slabs but not all the way okay so we're going to have it on the front part of it but we are uh, on the back part of it but at the front we're actually going to have light gray carpet and we're going to have those on top of these pieces of glass and then one on either side like that and the rest is slabs slabs there three slabs there like that nice and simple uh, then what we're going to do is with our cyan terracotta is we're going to fill in this deck now so there we go we can get all this in here fill this all up like that so we've got the next deck there we go like that and also of course the bridge as well let's fill that up so you can leave in these little gaps uh, if you want to put in like glowstone or, or some sort of lamp or something uh, frog light something like that so you've got some natural lighting on the inside without using torches it's up to you guys though um, and then right along the back of this we're going to have iron bars so we're going to have these going all the way back like this and then wrapping those around like that as well right now what we'll do now we can get rid of some of these we can grab ourselves a iron trapdoor and also a stone pressure plate I'm going to put in an iron door right here with a pressure plate there and do the same on the inside as well so at least we can then just step and go in and we'll do the same for the bridge as well I just find that that looks the best I mean you can go for wooden as well if you want to guys it's totally up to you um, no problem at all with that right so another little detail I ended up putting in it's up to you guys I was trying this out let me know in the comments um, I was trying out trying to make a little um, what's it called uh, what's it called the saving life thingamajiggies you know what I mean floaty things yeah great um, but anyway what we did or what I did is I had the uh, kind of corner thingy there then just normal ones of those until you get to the end then do the other way then vertical bar as many spaces as you can then minus one then put in another one do the same so loads of spaces minus one then to get there then we do the opposite but this time we can actually do the underscores so that's what I ended up doing for the life saving device the ring thing um, you could also now I'm thinking about it you know what it's like when you actually start talking about things but you can then make it like white if you wanted that like white and orange kind of look that actually looks quite a bit better I think but um, let me know what you think is it rubbish is it good <laughs> don't really mind open to all feedback guys it's totally up to you guys right so what we are now gonna do is we're gonna grab andesite wool uh, smooth quartz block slab and stair okay we're gonna build this in here then we'll get onto the next tower because I need to look it all up so what we're going to do is two blocks behind, one and two. Go to the next one, and we're going to go one, two, three, and four like that. And one, two, three, and four. Then we're going to leave a block here. We're going to go to this one, okay? So we've got enough space to actually walk around this. I'm going to go four as well, two, three, and four like that. Then what we're going to do is in the middle, we're going to have a block. And then on the sides that we can see, we're going to put in a slab. Then what we're going to do is we're going to have blocks on top of this. So blocks going around like this. This is all, um, yeah, your smooth quartz. So we're going to have that all going around there like that. Then on top of this, in the middle, we're going to have a stair just going towards the middle. Block in the top. Now with our slabs, put a slab on the top and each of these sides as well like that. There we go. So that is what you end up getting. Now we're going to make a start on the next tower because it'll make it easier for me. Um, and that is going to be where we've got, um, yeah, I thought it was taking over a block, but um, where we've got this uh, iron bar here, knock that one out where it's joining. Then go up with four, two, three, and four. And there as well, one, two, three, and four. Join across to the middle. Then coming forwards, we're going to go one, two, and three. And then forwards from that, we're going to join this up so it's just in front of this whole thing. One, two, three, four, five, and six for the time being like that. So we're going to have six there like that to kind of get us uh, started. And then what we'll do is I'll go and look up the rest of the measurements and we can then build that in, finish that up. And then we've got the back section to do. 
All right then, so what we're gonna do is with our andesite wall, we're gonna build five on top. One, two, three, four, and five. So that's gonna be just directly off of that main, main part that we've got this solid bit going up like that. Uh, what we're gonna do is on the bottommost one, we're gonna have two iron bars sticking out the side. Not like that though, just straight out the side. So one and two, I'm really glad that they join in now. It looks good. Um, then what we're gonna do is we are gonna have ourselves an upside down stone stair right in front of that with a smooth quartz block on it with a smooth quartz slab on top of it like that. And then on top of this thing, we're gonna have a another andesite wall, but then we're gonna have two out on each side. So like this, same there as well. And then right in the middle, another andesite wall and then finally a smooth quartz block. And then with our iron bars, place that on top of those bits there like that. And that will give you your main antenna mast thingamajiggy like that. Cool. So there we go, guys. That's it for the main superstructure part of it anyway. And then finally, guys, for the back, grab yourself your stone slab. We're going to have three of those across the back here. One, two, and three. Then with your stone stairs, we're going to have a stone stair there. I'm going to wrap this around a little central area right here. So you can then knock that one out. Technically, you can actually knock out these floor pieces as well, should you want to. There we go, to give yourself extra room. And obviously, the bits underneath the superstructure. Uh, though, for the time being, that's not what I'm doing. So I'm going to leave that there. There we go. Um, then right in the middle here, we're going to place a block of your light gray concrete. And then have another two on top of that. Then one coming forward. So that's what you end up getting. With your polished deep state slab, have two of those on top of that. Then we're going to have an upside down stone stair just to cover that gap there. So that's going to be the main uh, smokestack, or well, the little smokestack really that it's got. I think these are as well, but I'm not totally sure. Um, then with our andesite wall, you're going to go up four on the back of this. So one, two, three, and four like that. Then place a flower pot on top of that one to finish that bit up, okay? Then what we're going to do is we're going to leave a block gap and we're going to have an andesite wall. Leave a block, andesite wall like that. And then with our um, stone stairs, we're going to have uh, stone slabs even, have those over the top and then one in the middle like that. I have no idea what this is. If anybody actually knows, let me know in the comments, please. Because <laughs> I was looking at it going, I know there's a thing there, but I don't know what it does, but I'll put it in. Um, so then what we're going to do is we're going to build the missile kind of um, duty thingies, which is pretty cool to be fair. So we're going to have right in the middle here, we're going to go over by one. We're going to have a polished andesite stair like that. On top of that, we're going to have a polished andesite block, then one going back. Forwards wise, we're going to have a slab and then one on top of that. And then we're going to move over to the side now with just a slab there. With this slab, we're going to have a stair and upside down stair like that. Okay, so you end up with this kind of thing that's angled and going upwards at the same time. And then finally, we're gonna have two polished andesite blocks on the front of that one like that. That's the same on the other one. So we get a stair there, block on top, block at the back, slab on front of that and slab on top like that. So you build it up just one. We're gonna have one slab going out. And then where we've got this, we're gonna have a stair and an upside down stair there like that. And then coming forwards, two polished andesite blocks from that there, like that. And then the only other thing we need to do, which I didn't have enough inventory room for, um, I ended up putting in a mangrove sign on the end of this. You could also use an item frame as well if you wanted to. Uh, either of which would work absolutely fine uh, for this. So you then got your missiles, you got your main gun as well. But guys, that is it for the Pegasus class hydrofoil. I'm hoping you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, comment, like, and subscribe. If you guys can, please, please, please do support me on Patreon or as a YouTube member. Um, without that support, uh, I wouldn't exist as a channel. So thank you very much for those people that do support me on uh, Patreon and also YouTube and stuff like that. But anyway, thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next one.